A little tip for anybody getting chickens is check the rules in your city. When we first bought this house, it kind of came with about 10 or 12 chickens and they were all right about there. Well, apparently we had too many chickens. Our chicken coop run combo was too big and we had to make some changes so that way we could fall within the limits and make sure everything's good with our permits and everything like that. Before you get your chickens or even think about getting your chickens, definitely check into the rules in your city and make sure that everything is legal and you're not going to have any issues there. We definitely just assumed we were within the rules because when we bought the house that's just kind of how it came and they had been there for years and years and years but we were wrong. With that being said, we had about one week to either get rid of our chickens or figure out a different chicken coop situation. Our chicken run itself was four times as big as it was allowed to be. On top of that, the coop was in the corner of the yard right up against two fences and it has to be six feet off of both fences. Those are pretty general rules for a lot of different cities, especially for kind of backyard chicken type deals. What we decided to do is <laughs> hook up a car to our chicken coop shed and drag it across the yard to where it was off of the two fences. And then we had to chop up our chicken run and get that within the bounds as well and then rehook it all back up. I wasn't gonna film us dragging that chicken coop around, but... Oh, hey neighbor! I wasn't gonna film us dragging the chicken coop around. My friends over here were like, no, you need to get your camera out. So I did. This is how that all went down. All right, so here's what we got going on today. One of our neighbors called the city about our chickens and even though the chickens were right there when we bought the house, they're not allowed to be there. We have to move the chickens six feet off that fence and six feet off that fence. We also have to take that run and downsize it to about a quarter because apparently our run is too, too big. We wrapped a rope around that and the rope is gonna come over here and it's gonna go to this tree where we have a pulley and then it's gonna come over here, hook back up to the Honda. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this works. So as you can see over here, it's pretty much right up against this fence and that fence as well. So we got the rope around and hopefully this, Hopefully this works. Normally you could just pick these up if you've got like 10 guys, but only got three. <laughs> Hopefully my car works after this. Whoa, shed moved. Oh God, there goes my grass and my car. <laughs> All right, get a run. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> hey, wait, it's far enough, right? We just need to pull it this way now. What? Pulled the shed piece off the bottom. What shed piece off the bottom? All right, we're almost there. Right now, we're far enough off of that fence. If we slide this up, we're gonna run into the corner of the garden there. So we're gonna bring this back to kind of get in line with that garden, and then we're gonna pull it this way. <laughs> All right, we're good. Now we gotta go this direction. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> all right it's a new day we've got the chicken coop moved from that back corner over there got it situated there now chickens are just kind of out roaming around um like i said this coop is <laughs> about four times bigger than the than the city's gonna allow us to have <laughs> today i am going to pretty much cut it right here so that way we've still got this front we've got the door right there we'll cut cut it right there and then i will take the fence off of the back and move it to right here, and then I will hook it back up over to the chicken coop. Let's get it. I'll see if I can move it by myself. <laughs>
here, this is the back side of that chicken run, the outside, the one that we just did. And I've got it pushed right up against the chicken door here. Um, if you want to know how I did this chicken door, kind of figured out how to make it slide up and down and kind of where you can open it from the outside. I did a whole video on that. I'll put that video right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect this fence all the way around the wood right here. And that way nothing can get in. I'll come back as soon as that's done. Okay, I couldn't show you guys me actually putting these staples in because I'm horrible at it, as you can see. But anyway, staples are in. Fence is connected to the coop. That's how they're gonna get in and out. All right, I got one more thing I wanna show you guys. Another thing I wanna talk about is this right here. So I use a really deep chicken bedding and I either use like wood shavings or this is like a mixture of wood shavings and straw. And this is everything that I just raked up from the original run, which was four times as big. But as you can see, it this stuff is starting to break down, looking more brown than, than yellow. Well, well, what's happening is the chickens are pooping on that and you're getting chicken manure and it's mixing with that straw. And, and what I'll do is in the fall, I'm gonna take all of this out and I'll pretty much harvest it, be able to use it in the garden. 